We are standing in front of the Pretoria Urology Hospital where the first robotic assisted surgery was performed. This robot assists surgeons in removing cancerous cells from both the kidneys and the prostate. In 2013, only four doctors from South Africa from the Pretoria Urology Hospital were sent to Belgium for two months of intense training. Cutting the lower abdomen. Dr. Francois Dufries Bozart, a urologist at the hospital, said it was easy for surgeons to adapt to the techniques of the robotic assisted procedures. It helped a lot if you'd known the procedure before from the open surgery side or in, in my personal case from the laparoscopic side because it's the same procedure except that the robot actually helps you to uh, be able to do it uh, more easily and it's more easy for the surgeons from the open surgery side to be able to learn the technique of minimally invasive surgery. Bozard says there's a vast difference between robotic assisted surgery and open surgery. Open surgery is not minimally invasive. There are two ways of doing the open procedure. You could do it retropubically, that's a cut in the lower abdomen. Um, and then also uh, transperineally where you actually go with an incision around the anus to uh, get access there to the prostate. Um, obviously the, uh, the, the morbidity of the procedure with open surgery would be much more than you would expect with, with minimally invasive surgery where essentially with laparoscopic or robotic assisted laparoscopic radical prostatectomy you work through five little little ports probably a centimeter or, uh, in diameter or in length. Patients who undergo open surgeries recovery time are much longer than that of patients who opt for the robotic surgery. Because of the fact that it's a, it's the, these are much smaller incisions and the patients lose much less uh, blood so we, the transfusion rate is really minimal. We really very seldom have to do any blood transfusions with the robotic procedure or minimal invasive procedures. With the robotic assisted surgery comes less damage to nerves. The robot makes the, the surgery more accurate and much more um, sp uh, precisely. You, you'd be able to do it much more precisely so you could spare like the, the nerves with, uh, that are important with uh, erectile function much more accurately than you would. Chekhofatse Gape, a prostate cancer survivor, says the robotic assisted surgery has changed his life. I have um, some friends who have done the open surgery. And today, the, 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 the risk that I spoke about um, earlier on, in fact, uh, has caught up with them. And unfortunately with them, some of the nerves um, uh, are dead because uh, they were affected by the surgery. Kape says since his surgery, he has been healthy. I was here last time, uh, last year, uh, December, uh, for checkup. And um, since, uh, in fact, I've been coming for checkup after every six months. So according to the results, I am uh, cancer free as far as the prostate cancer is concerned. This state of the art robotic assisted procedure causes less pain and minimal blood loss. Dirk Luchthalem, a urologist from the hospital, says since they have started the procedures in 2013, it has become more popular amongst patients with prostate and kidney cancer. At Pretoria, um, at Pretoria Urology Hospital, since the introduction in 2013, we've done 500 patients. According to Luchthalem, the success rate has been good thus far. It's still very early. We've, we've been doing it for two years. But I think patients are doing well, they are they recovering well, and um, the cancer control is, is good. Surgeons spend less time in theatre when performing the robotic assisted surgery procedures. Initially it took us um, over five hours for these procedures, but it's routinely now to have these patients out of theatre in three, three and a half hours. Chris Flock, another prostate cancer survivor, says he did not consider any other options. Well, the first option was um, uh, the treatment that you get, um, radiation, which I've got very bad news from friends of mine, so that was out. 
The next one was where they do the implant that fights the cancer. The third one was the, the, the old way of operating, where they cut you right open and you know, you, you're out of action for a very long time. And that was a no-no. And uh, the fourth one was, um, I can't remember. And then it was the biopsy. Well, the fourth one, if I was older than 70, they would have left it, you know, and, and then let it go its course and treat it, you know. And um, that's why, and when he explained to me the, the, the way the, the robotic one worked, I made that decision immediately. Vanya van der Jeffer for Morning Live in Pretoria.